subject, there's legislation uh, on Capitol Hill that would let the families of those who were killed or wounded on 9-11 sue the kingdom of Saudi Arabia for any possible role in the terrorist attack on 9-11. Yeah. That bill passed the Senate unanimously on Tuesday, despite President Obama's veto threat. It now goes to the House, where you're a chief sponsor of the legislation. Now, White House officials have said that the president opposes the bill because he's concerned it could set a, a dangerous precedent in terms of foreign individuals suing the United States. If that concern is unfounded, as you and others maintain, why do you think the president opposes this legislation? Well, Jake, you know, this was thoroughly debated, and, you know, there was an initial concern. So this bill is so finely drawn and tailored. Senator Cornyn in the Senate did an outstanding job. My staff is in work with his and also with Chairman Goodlatte of the House Judiciary Committee. And this is very really finely drawn to say that those who can only be brought against the government, uh, if there's evidence that that government was responsible uh, in any way for a terrorist attack on another nation, this is not going to open up to all lawsuits. We're talking about a very specific type of threat. A specific type of uh, crime. And uh, so to me, this is a, uh, uh, the president, I think, is overreacting to the Saudis now. In fairness to the president, there are some ongoing uh, operations that we're working with the Saudis on. He may feel it's going to hurt us diplomatically, but we have to do both because, listen, these, these families, I know these families. Terry Strada, her husband Tommy, was killed that day. His father, Ernie, was a mayor in my district. Ernie Strada, great guy. These are families that should know what happened. And if the government of Saudi Arabia is responsible, then that should come out. This is not going to compromise any uh, intelligence at all. And the Saudis have to realize that while right now they are cooperating with us, probably much more for their own good, they're doing it. They realize they have to because of the threat. But that can't wipe away, if they have any responsibility at all, for what happened back on 9-11. They have to assume that responsibility. If there's no responsibility, they have nothing to worry about.